I am going to be really awkward because I'm talking into my mirror because Alex is filming into the mirror so you guys can see what I'm actually doing and still have light. But what I'm doing today is an eye look for the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to turn stuff straight to the camera so you guys can actually see stuff and it's not like all unreadable. Um, I'm going to be doing a review for this so if you're not already, so go ahead and subscribe so you can keep out an eye Mm, keep an eye out for that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I have um, all the brushes I've got are Wet n Wild just because they're some of my favorite brushes. And I'll do my best to link those down in the description. This is one of their metal ones, the P15. Um, so I'm going to use Butter Pecan here. And I'm going to put that on my brow, under my brow, my brow bone, whatever. Can you tell it's been a while since I've done one of these videos? Yeah, that looks nice. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Then I have, is this is like a fluffy crease brush from Wet n Wild. These are really cheap and I have like four of them because they're one of my favorite brushes. And I'm going to take this shade Truffled and I'm going to put that in my crease and just blend it. And I'm gonna kind of pull it out a little bit too, but nothing crazy. And then I have this Wet n Wild brush. I don't know what this is called, and I don't use these much, but I thought it would be appropriate for today. So we'll see how that works. And I'm going to try and get some Blueberry Swirl. See if this color will crawl through me and put that all over my lids, if it will cooperate. Try to pack it on. If it doesn't cooperate, I'm going to have to do something else. That's blue eyeshadows, you know. So it's not cooperating. Don't follow me. So I'm going to try <coughs> caramel instead with the other side of my brush. I'm going to try it over here, see how it looks. Like I said, I don't have this planned out ahead of time. I'm just kind of going with it and seeing what happens. Maybe it's this brush. Forget the brush. I'm use my finger. I don't really use my finger much because I don't like getting my fingers in my palettes because of the oils and it makes hard pan and all of that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna copy Tati. And my right eye is gonna look a little weird because it has that bluish underneath it, but. I'm just going to use my finger to pack some caramel on the lid. So. There. That looks pretty decent, huh? Look at the camera. I know this eye is like way darker, but you know, whatever. Okay. So then I have the, I don't have my glasses on. Sephora Retractable Eyeliner, excuse me, Waterproof in Matte Black. That's what I'm... Yeah, Alex got me stuck on these. This is an amazing eyeliner. You thief. I'm going to put this in my waterline and not stab myself in the eye. That's the hope, anyway. I am loving this, and I'm going to have to get some more colors of this because this is a great eyeliner. I'm also loving the MAC Brush Black Brush Stroke Liner. Um, 
I've been using this to do on top. It makes a really nice cat eye, which I'm not doing today because if I try and do a cat eye on camera, you guys know how terrible it will turn out. I'm sorry, I have to get closer. I can't see what I'm doing. My hands are not the steadiest, and like I said, my vision ain't terrible, but I don't have my glasses on. And I got eyeliner in my eye, yay. That'll come out. And then I'm just going to throw in some mascara. This is the Revlon Volumizing. I've got mine in blackest black. I love this stuff. This is what the wand looks like. This is a great mascara. It's um it's one of their newer ones. It's really good. You can see the difference from the top lashes on this eye versus this eye. Sorry, I'm sure watching me put on mascara is about as entertaining as watching paint dry, but. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but. I love you, husband, dear. <laughs> I love you too, wifey. Okay, so that is my finished eye look for the day. No, it's not perfect, but hey, it's fun. And I haven't been doing these for a while, so I thought I would get back into it instead of just doing reviews with mismatched eyes. Questions, comments, or opinions on any of this, throw them down in the comments. I will try to link everything in the description. And um, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep an eye out for that review that should be coming up tomorrow, maybe? I don't know. I film stuff when I feel like filming it, and then it um, gets posted whenever it gets posted. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.